first heat for senior Otax. 10 minutes plus an additional lap for this particular encounter. Let's have a look at the starting grid. So, pole position. Linus Henson, the only driver to go sub 50 seconds in qualifying earlier on today. He has the 330 of Vincent France alongside for close company. The 312 of Lucas Thompson. The 399 of Luca Thiel, row two. Bennett Ahrens in the number 327 of Maurice Schmeis in the 310. That's row number three. With Luca Kirster in the 366. And Finn Stiak in the 339, running out the top four rows. Mark Lupfer in the 309. And Lucas Hartmann in the 309. Sorry, in the 308 and the 309, respectively, ran at the top 10. Adrian Dobrich in the 335 and Andre Petropoulos in the 301 ran out row 6. Ahead of the 313 of Max Busch and the 345 of Yander Luke Schneider. Giuseppe Fico in the 394 is ahead of Kian Agassadi in the 362 and complete the top 8 rows. Completing the top 20, it's Lasse Reinhardt in the 302, the 383, the Denny Bount, the 329 of Bastian Balaj, the 363. Uh, Philip Keske, uh, Keskic, uh, then we've also got Maddox Wirtz, Lukas Vavajnak, uh, Luisa Kela, uh, Vivian Michel Haidt, Finley Hamfrecht, Mass Johan Overhoff, and Darius Nitu running at the 27th spot. So I'll be down to the defending champion, Linus Henson, and the 330 of Vincent France to control the rolling start formation. They've had their sizing lap. They're on the latter stages of the formation lap here at Wackersdorf. And it is also almost time to go racing once again. So Henson and France on the front row. Out of the final corner we come. Into the tram lines we go. Are we ready? Are we steady? The revs do rise. And we are lights out. They are off and racing. Oh, there's been a touch between Thompson and France going through turn, the exit of turn two. And that has meant that Lucas Thompson will drop down the order significantly. Lino Sensen, like a scolded cat on a hot tin roof, gets a good start already. And then I see Bennett Ahrens uh, looks to be up in fourth position. There's a good little move there by Morris Schmeis. So I think it was Bennett Ahrens that's uh, gone past. Uh, for a position a bit further up the order and there is a little bit of drama at the sharper end of the grid now I spotted that there was one cart that was uh, having a bit of drama so that was Le so Linus Henson leads in second it's Vincent France I believe as they come across the line and Luca Thiel in third Bennett Ahrens, Morris Schmeis, Finstiak and Luca Kirsta and a result of what happened earlier, Lucas Thompson all the way down to 26th position. And then you've got Andre Petropoulos in the Kart Report, uh, Performance Racing Express chassis on the 301. As now the lead has gone in the favour of Vincent France. He's got past Lino Sensen. And here comes Lucas Seal. Now let's not forget that Vincent France wasn't part of the championship ramifications last year, but Lucas Seal very very much was eight and a half minutes to go and Lucas Thompson will be fired up I can guarantee you that much to try and charge his way back towards the sharper end of the field he started p3 got past into second position but got bumped aside and exited stage right and as there goes Linus Henson up the inside of Vincent France textbook slipstream overtake having used the momentum carried through the final corner, used the slipstream past Vincent France, and now it's going to be the opportunity to see not if, it's when Luca Thiel uh, decides to also get past the 3.30. But the biggest thing is, now there is a penalty coming, and it is for the 3.13. I think that might that is for three, a three-second penalty. So Max Busch will be demoted a further three seconds back by having exited the corridors, the tram lines with two wheels. And that's the first one that has been given out by race control. So the top three covered by four tenths of a second. It's Henson from France, from Thiel. There's now Vincent France looks up the inside through turn four. Forces Henson ever so slightly wide and Luca Thiel nearly... Uh, interlocks wheels with Linus Henson and now he goes up the inside through turn six 
So Linus Henson, in the space of three corners, drops three, uh, drops down from first to third. And there's Bennett Ahrens looking to close in on the defending and reigning champion, Leander Luke Schneider, from Voik Motorsport, unfortunately out of the race after just the first lap of this uh, encounter here in senior road tax. But Linus Henson now finds himself a little bit further behind Vincent France, who has started pulling away from Luca Thiel. It is an X-Free JJ Racing 1-2 at the moment as they make their way through into turn three for the fifth time of asking. Linus Henson being closed in on by Bennett Ahrens. And at the moment, Vincent France, now he's got some clean air. He's putting in some hot laps. And they are rapid ones at that. 50.819 on the completion of lap number four from the 330. Vinciak completes the top five. Morris Schmeis, Luca Kirster, Mark Lupfer, Adrian Dobrich, Lucas Hartmann running out the top ten. Some good moves up the order by the likes of Kian Agasade and Philip uh, Kesic uh, in the 362 and the 363, respectively. Uh, and Giuseppe Fico in the Karchmi entry, the 394, rounds out the top 15. Just 40 seconds away from the halfway point in this race. Darius Nitu looks to become the second retirement in this race on lap number four. As best as there's been a bit of a moment. Oh, I've just spotted that Lasse Reinhardt and Giuseppe Fico have both dropped all the way down to 25th and 24th respectively. So out of the 27 drivers, we still have 25 circulating around this track. But now Linus Henson is closing on Lucas Hill. Remember when these two were racing uh, hard last year, it looks like the rivalry has quickly been reignited. Halfway down, halfway to go, and we've got a long way to get there. There's now Linus Henson closing in and puts in a 50.673. Henson has the fastest lap to his credit. That's a little bit further back. The battle for sixth position really heating up between the likes of Schmeis, Kirster, Lufa, Dobrich, and Hartmann. And there is no more than about 0.27 separating certain drivers. And you can see how quickly they are constantineering. Mark Lufa, one of the new additions to the Comcart ranks, courtesy of FM Racing. And he is currently running in P8. There's a bit of a change for position as Maurice Schmeis has lost out to Luca Costa in the 366. Kraft Motorsport entry. Four minutes uh, still to go, plus an additional lap. Battle for second, third and fourth really heating up. Then you take a little bit further back of a look at seventh to around about 11th position. As here comes Linus Henson, steamrolls up the inside of Luca Thiel. And then all of a sudden the daylight opens for Bennett Ahrens, who steals third position off of Luca Thiel. That was perfection in terms of waiting and having the ringside seat. And now Bennett Ahrens looking to close in and pass Linus Henson for second position. But Linus Henson with 10 victories on the bounce last season. And he, he signed off in style, did Linus Henson. It was nigh on a clean sweep of the championship. No one, not even Luca Thiel, had an answer for the triple three. But the gap between Henson and Vincent France now extends to nearly 1.4 seconds. Linus Henson, he took 10 victories. The only blip at Wackersdorf, the uh, fifth and final race on the Sunday was when he finished second. But he, he took 10 victories. Like literally no one could touch him at Wittgenborn. He was literally unassailable. But we now see I think there is another penalty coming because we've had retirements. Giuseppe Fico out. Lasse Reinhardt out of the race. Darius Nitu all out. 23 drivers still circulating. And oh, now. Andre Petropoulos has got a five second time penalty for pushing, according to race control. So that will drop. Well, he's currently sitting in 21st position at the minute and the five second time penalty will drop him to 23rd 
and stone dead loss and that will promote Luisa Kehler and also Finney Hamfrecht. But we head into the last couple of minutes of racing. Bennett Ahrens ahead of Luca Thiel. Linus, Linus Henson running out the top two. Vincent France has comfortably gotten away. Linus Henson trying to put down the hammer, so to speak, and he's got his gap down to about just under 1.3 seconds. This is Luca Thiel looking up the inside of Bennett Ahrens going through the penultimate hairpin. Uh, the last hairpin and here's Finn Stiak making a, a three-way scrap for P3. There's Bennett Ahrens up the inside of Luca Thiel. But here comes Finn Stiak. He's like the meat in the middle, the meat in the middle of the sandwich. And here comes Finn Stiak. He's going to rub wheels with Bennett Ahrens going through turn three, and he gets the job done. And here comes Luca Thiel. Oh, he goes into the side of Bennett Ahrens. Oh, it was going to be nip and tuck between the pair of them. And here comes Luca Costa. So Finn Stiak and Luca Costa closing in. Well, Finn Stiak's got his way passed up into third position, and that's allowed. Linus Henson to get past and go running away into the distance without a care in the world for Linus Henson, uh, who is closing in on Vincent France, but we're coming into the last couple of laps of this race. 45 seconds on the clock remaining, plus one additional lap. And uh, Vincent France has completed lap number 11, but Linus Henson is chasing him down. Linus Henson has got to within a second of the leader with about 35 seconds on the clock remaining. Finn Stiak rounds out the top three. Luca Thiel rounds out the top four ahead of Bennett Ahrens. Luca Costa, Lucas Hartmann, Mark Lufa ahead of Morris Schmeis for what is now eighth. Max Busch in the number 313 Cosmic Chassis for Kraft Motorsport rounds out the top ten. So the timer is fast ticking down to zero. Next time around, it looks like Vincent France will get the final lap board for what will be the 13th and final lap. And they do say that number 13 is unlucky for some, lucky for others. And there is the 313 of Max Busch closing in on Morris Schmeis. That's for ninth position in the dying stages. Final lap board is out and it's been shown to Vincent France, Linus Henson, Finch Diak, Luca Thiel. And it's Ahrens, Kosta, Hartmann, Lupfer, Schmeis, Busch, Bernd, Dobrich, Agassade, Wirtz, uh, Keskic. Uh, then we've got uh, Balaj, Thompson, Vavajinak, Overhoff, Vivian Michel Reitz, who rounds out the top 20. Luisa Kela has got past Andre Petopoulos. You get a five second time penalty added post race. Max Busch at the minute will drop out of the top 12. We're on the final lap. But Vincent France, as soon as he got past Linus Henson, has not really had to look back or worry about where the triple three is in terms of proximity. But out of the final corner, Vincent France in the 330 takes the checkered flag and wins heat one in senior road tax ahead of Linus Henson by just over nine tenths of a second. Finch Diak takes third ahead of Luca Thiel, Bennett Ahrens, Luca Costa, who ran at the top six. Retirements on lap two for Leander Luke Schneider, Darius Nitu on lap four, Lasse Reinhardt on lap five, and Giuseppe Fico on lap six. But let's have a look at the finishing order from Vincent France onwards as the checker flag has waved for senior Rotax heat one. So Vincent France wins with just over nine tenths of a second ahead of Linus Henson. Finch Diak in third place, Luca Thiel in fourth, Bennett Ahrens, Luca Costa, Lucas Hartmann, Mark Lupfer, Morris Schmeis, and Max Busch. Round out the top 10, but it has changed. So Morris Schmeis and Denny Bount round out the top 10, or top 11, uh, or top 10, uh, according to the amended times. Adrian Dobrich takes 11th ahead of Max Busch, who rounds out the top 12 ahead of Kian Agassade, Maddox Wirtz, uh, Philipp uh, Keskic, uh, and then Keskic, and then we've also got Bastian Balaj, Lukas Thompson, Lukas Vavajinak, Max Johan Overhoff, Vivian Michel Haidt, Luisa Kela, Finley Hamfrecht and Andre Petropoulos after that five second time penalty for uh, unfair driving stroke pushing gets demoted to 23rd and is the last of the finishers here in Senior Rotax.